This segment sponsored by GBMC Healthcare. Well, there's been plenty of talk about the end of summer, but quite honestly, the season is still here. And with that, there are some common concerns for what to do to help maintain our health. Well, here to break it all down for us is the chairman of family medicine at GBMC Health Partners, Dr. Kevin Ferentz. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here. So we're talking about summer coming to an end, but really the temperatures are really saying something about where we are still. So talk to us about dehydration. You mentioned liquids. How much water should we be drinking? The easiest thing to say is if you're thirsty, drink. Okay. It's not a specific number that you need. The average person needs to take in about two liters of fluid a day, but actually most of that liquid comes in food. I mean, most of our oh, food okay. actually has water in it. So the easiest thing to do is say, if you're out in the sun and you're getting hot and you're feeling thirsty, make sure that you have cold water to drink at all times. Okay, and so then being outside, we keep talking about it here, but talk to us about ticks. So we're heading into tick season okay. because it's, off, it's usually in the fall when people are out in the woods. And the mm -hmm. tick that we have to worry about is the, is the deer tick, mm -hmm. which uh, causes Lyme disease. The, the bacteria that gets in the deer tick causes Lyme disease. So the first thing to do is protect your skin, right? Keep as much okay. covered as you possibly can if it's not too hot outside. Using a tick repellent, of which there are many, also for your dog, mm -hmm. okay, your pets also need to have tick repellents because they can bring a tick home to you. Right. Okay. And then if, I mean, the good news about Lyme disease, a tick has to be on you for at least 36 hours wow. before it transmits Lyme disease. Okay. So if you know you didn't have a tick on you in the morning and you come home from being out in the woods and now you got a tick on you, take the tick off Okay. and use a tweezer and slowly, gently pull straight up on the tick and you'll be able to get it out. And most of the time you don't need an antibiotic because of that. Okay, good information. Thank you. Where can our viewers go to get more? more well, certainly you can go to uh, www.gbmc.org. You can talk to any of your physicians, your family physicians at GBMC. We're always happy to help. All right, Dr. Ferens, thank you so much for being here with us today. My pleasure.